Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAT Tutorials for Beginners uh, to Advance. In this lecture, uh, let's discuss about the next and last uh, command uh, for this sweep in generative shape design, which is nothing but a conic profile type having five guide curves. So let's discuss this. Uh, let's start with the generative shape design. So shape and the generative shape design. So let's click on OK here. So now we are in the generative shape design workbench and uh, let's go to the uh, sweep command and we'll see uh, what are the inputs required for this five guide curves. So inside the uh, conic, this is a five guide curve. So this is this is nothing but a last uh, type of uh, sweep, which is the 21th type of sweep sweep. And here we need to provide the inputs at guide curve one, guide curve two, three, four, and the last one, which is nothing but a fifth one. And here you can see g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 so all the um, guide course um, we need to provide and based on that it will create a sweep for you and as usual uh, you can also use the relimiter one and relimiter two uh, in this command so let's uh, discuss this in um, uh, in a practical way so here we can create uh, the profile so let's uh, add some uh, planes here we will be needing uh, these planes so that we can create a profile uh, as per the pictorial representation in the command okay so let's uh, create at uh, 20 mm then again uh, we'll create one at uh, 40 uh, now let's uh, draw on the this this top plane here uh, just click ok so here we'll create uh, the first guide curve so let's create a uh, first guide curve. this is our uh, first guide curve here then exit the workbench now on the second we'll create the second one so again uh, sketch on this plane here again we'll use the line and then uh, here we'll create the second uh, guide curve and then the third uh, will create uh, on this last one is the original uh, plane we'll create so let's select this top plane and then adjust this axis here. No, oh, sorry. Just exit this. I will select it again. Just select the uh, sketch positioning. Select this plane. Reverse this and swap it. Just click on OK. And then here also I will create uh, one more line which is nothing but our third guide curve. Then exit the workbench. And now I will uh, make use of this second uh, plane again. So just uh, draw on this plane. Uh, we'll create a fourth one. So let's create this fourth guide curve. Just exit after it. And again the last one uh, which is this one. So we'll create one more guide curve on this plane. So let's draw the last one that is a fifth guide curve and then exit after it. So now we have guide curve 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So now we can use this command. So you can just simply uh, hide this, just hide this and also you can just hide this one as well. Now you can see these are the uh, 5 guide curves we have sketch 1 to sketch 5. Just use the sweep command, select the five, five guide curve and then you can select the guide curve one by one. So the first one, second one, third one, the fourth one and the fifth one and you can simply preview after it. You can see uh, the previous created, the uh, sweep has been created which is passing through all these guide curves. So just click on OK. double click on it and again uh, let's say if you want to change this uh, sketch here let's say if you want to change this sketch the last one you can just double click here and you can simply uh, change the dimension of it or the location so here it's not taking maybe it's going outside Let's try to change somewhere and uh, yeah, now it's created, right? So in this way we can uh, try this out uh, again, double click here and let's use the relimiter option. 
so again to create a delimiter you can just right click here then uh, create a plane and then uh, in a plane type you can just select the option normal to the curve you can just lock this uh, button here and then select a curve so let me select any curve here just select this curve and then uh, try to try to uh, yeah, uh, just click ok here and then you can see the plane is created just view after it and you can see the sweep has been created in between the original and the relimiter one so again uh, if you want to change the direction you can just change it uh, with this uh, green uh, arrow similarly you can you can uh, use this uh, relimiter two as well just create a point so just select this curve here So we have created here let's uh, create there itself uh, so create a point and then uh, on curve just select this curvature and then select this ratio here let's try uh, 0.8 where it is showing so you can just reverse it just preview after it click on ok and then again click on ok okay so this is uh, not working so simply uh, remove this and just click on ok so again we'll try it out, try out, uh, try it out here uh, for the delimiter 2 you can just create a plane uh, just uh, select the curvature and then instead of middle we'll create a point again uh, create a point on the curvature and then the ratio uh, we need to provide let's keep at 0.31 and then click on ok just again click on ok and then try to uh, click on preview now you can see it's working so the, the sweep is created in between these two relimiters relimiter 1 and the relimiter 2 and just click on ok so in this way uh, you can use this command uh, with the five like guide curves just click on click here so we have uh, already covered all these uh, profile types in our uh, earlier tutorials we have already covered explicit uh, and all its uh, subtypes with reference surface with re uh, two guide curves and uh, with a pulling direction also we have covered the line uh, profile type and all of its subtypes uh, the conic also we have uh, the circle we have already covered uh, all these subtypes we have covered and the last one uh, we have covered uh, now so all the complete uh, 21 uh, types of sweeps we have covered um, as of now uh, in, in our uh, previous lectures so if you have not watched them you can go to the playlist and uh, watch them completely uh, to have a better idea uh, on these uh, options and which you can make uh, use of it uh, uh, to have a better design so thank you so much for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you so much